Number 69. Using the data in Appendix G, calculate the standard enthalpy change for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have silicon solid plus 2F2 gas, so fluorine gas, will yield SiF4, which is a gas. All right. Now what I did for you guys is I already went into Appendix G and I wrote down the enthalpies for each component, okay? So just know that when they're looking for enthalpy, they're looking for delta H. You're going to see on these appendix that there's like a delta G and there's an S value. We only care about the delta H values because that's enthalpy, heat energy. So now how are we going to find the delta H for the reaction? That's basically what they want to know. Well, that formula is this one right? It's a pretty simple formula. It looks scary, but it's really not. It's the sum of all the products minus the sum of all of the reactants. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to get one big number for your reactants, get one big number for your products, and then just do products minus reactants. Just know that RxN is for the reaction. So the whole delta H for the reaction would be the products minus the reactants. So let's do it. Technically, what we would do is we would have to multiply the enthalpy that we see in those appendix values by how many we have in our formula. Now, I already see that they gave me coefficients here. So I'm assuming that it's balanced. Remember, you always have to start off with a balanced equation. So if you want, just pause the video just to see if it's balanced, but it's balanced. And all you're going to do now is you're just going to multiply each number by how many you have in the balanced equation. So for example, there was only one silicon. So I'm just going to multiply this zero by one. There was two of the fluorines. So I'm going to multiply this by two. And then there was one of this, so I multiply it by one. Now, you just have to add all the reactants together. Literally, there's a plus sign here. So I got to add these together. Since there was only one product, the product side is just going to be this number. Because 1 times that number, right, 1,615, is just that number. And then this, if we add this all together, this is 0. But I just wanted to show you, you know, just so that you could do, tr you know, harder problems like this. Now we're ready to do the math. So the sum of the products, negative 1,615.0 minus some of the reactants, zero. So this one was easy. The delta H for the whole reaction would just be negative 1,615.0. And just know that the units for delta H if you're using the charts, is kilojoule per mole. And there you go. So this looks like it's pretty exothermic. Big number here, negative 1,615 kilojoules. Uh, so 1,615 kilojoules will be released negative, right, when this compound is basically formed. And that's it. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope that you guys are doing well and that you're, you know, doing well in your classes. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, not just in chemistry, but, you know, anything that you're taking, whether it's math or geometry. Uh, well, geometry is a math, right? I, I meant to say geography, but social studies, history. Yeah. I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.